The Karamoja docket faced the biggest disappointment after both cabinet and state ministers were dropped. Ministers including Mary Goretti Chitutu and Agnes Nandutu are undergoing court process for allegedly diverting iron sheets meant for the vulnerable communities in Karamoja. The duos is among the five ministers dropped from cabinet. I just want to thank the head of this country, President Yoweli Museveni, for the opportunity he gave me to serve at the highest level in government as a cabinet minister. I am very grateful and I thank him for that opportunity. While many people in the country saw nothing in me, President Yoweli Museveni saw something in me and appointed me to be one of the 100 most important or very important persons in this country. And I've done my best to serve this country. Former State Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Agnes Nanduto, admits that the challenges which attacked her docket have caused her ministerial position. I would have served even better. But because of the challenges that were there, I did a little, but at least I have left a mark where I was appointed. Where I have gone wrong, I ask the president, forgive me. But as I move from the front bench to the bank, to the back bench, I'll still serve this government dead gently. It doesn't mean that when you leave the field and you go to the bench, you don't, be, you, you don't remain one part of the team. I'm the part of the winning team, the NRM team, and I'll cheer them from behind. Nandutu has been replaced by Florence Wamala Nambozo, the woman member of parliament, Sironko district, while Minister Mary Goret Chitutu was replaced by Peter Lokeris, who was moved from the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development. Members of parliament welcomed the move, citing the urgency in the fight against corruption. At this time, we need to be firm and fight corruption. Anybody mentioned in a corruption tendency, that person is not fit to serve in the government offices. With that, I support him. The MPs also expressed mixed reactions over the appointment of General Muhoz Kainerugaba as the Chief of Defense Forces. The Foster General leads a pressure group dubbed the Patriotic League of Uganda, which has highly been deemed as a political movement. He will not be, be, be participating. He will only be providing security to us as members of PLU who will be mobilizing for Museveni and NRM. So there is no contradiction at all in that. You see, the, the question of mobilization, you can say Chema Swet for NRM. Does it really offend NRM that Chema Swet is mobilizing for NRM? Or probably Mukula is mobilizing for NRM? Kira Municipality MP Ibrahim Semujunganda says the appointment of General Mohozi indirectly ends the PLOU agenda. It is not going to be possible for a CDF to go to capture to address it. That has ended. And I think Mohose had uh, given a, a pointer when he was in Masaka, when he said elect people who will work for the government and who will work with him seven. So the people who had uh, been excited um, by Mohose's birthday parties and subsequent rallies now must find a refuge somewhere else. The outfit has unofficially been disbanded. When you are now made a CDF, you are now playing a very critical role in the country's security architecture. That means politicking may not be an option anymore, but you have to pursue matters that relate to the security and peace of Uganda other than politicking. General Kainerugaba has been serving as a senior presidential advisor in charge of special operations Mohoz also served as the commander land forces until 2022. Lieutenant General Samuel Okiding has been appointed as the deputy CDF. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.